friends, it's Christine Vicente with Queen City Stamp Art, and today I'm back with a clean and simple Sunday card. We're going to be using the Sea Turtle stamp set from the new January to April 2023 mini catalog, and I'm also going to be showing you a fun watercolor technique to use with this stamp set. So what makes this stamp set special, um, besides the love of turtles that I have personally, um, is the fact that it's a reversible stamp. So in the catalog, the mini catalog on page 29, it talks a little bit about reversible stamps. And basically what happens is you're going to actually use both sides of the, the stamp itself to stamp each of the images if you, if you want to. So one side is kind of the background of the image and the other side is the detail of the image. So I'm going to show you how that works. I've got a little, um, I've got an envelope here that I want to stamp. And then I also have a project. So I'm going to bring in a little piece of scrap paper and I'm going to show you how this works. So I'm going to mount my um, image on a block. Now this is the detail side. So I'm going to actually flip it over and I'm going to use the, um, I'm going to use the solid side, the back of the stamp itself. I'm going to bring in a Coastal Cabana ink pad and I'm going to ink up my big turtle. And I'm going to stamp it off on my scrap piece, and then I'm going to stamp it onto my project. And what I get is this outline of the actual image. Now I'm going to take my stamp chamois and clean the back. And then I'm going to flip the image over and use the detail side to add some detail to the project. So I'm just going to line this up with my eyes and stamp it down and I get the detail over top of the background. So it's really cool. It makes, you can do some really fun techniques with this too. Like if you stamp it on a paper towel, I can show you how that would look. So I'm going to ink it up. I'm going to ink the detail up and I'm going to bring in a paper towel here. I'm going to stamp it lightly onto the paper towel and then stamp it onto my project and I get this really cool kind of textured effect on the turtle which is really fun so anyway just an idea for a little technique what I'm going to do now is show you the watercoloring technique that I had kind of put together for today but before I do while I have this out I'm going to ink up the detail and just stamp my envelope here I like to decorate my envelopes so I'm going to put a turtle on there for later. So for today, you're going to probably, um, to do this technique, I should say, you're going to want some paper towels and you're going to want your water brush and some water. I'm also going to be using the um, Fluid 100 watercolor paper from Stampin' Up. These come in a pack of, I think, like 20 sheets and Oh, 10 sheets and I cut them in half to use them when I'm most of the time and so I've got a little piece here that's like three by five they come in five by seven sheets and we're going to create a background piece that we're then going to dry and stamp a black detail over top of so this is going to be fun so I've got my coastal cabana I'm just going to give that a squeeze and open that up and I've got my parakeet party and again, I'm going to give that a squeeze and open it up. And I just picked these two colors because I think they're kind of fun and tropical. Now I've got my wide bristled water brush and I'm just going to get my paper pretty well um, covered and saturated with water. I don't want it drowning, but I just want a nice coating of water on the top so that the color moves. And then I'm going to add some color to my ink pad here, my lid, and just add some color to this piece. And I'm just going to kind of tap it on with my brush. Nothing fancy. I'm not an artist. I'm just a card maker that enjoys watercolor. And so I'm just going to add that on there. And then I'm going to clean my brush pretty well. And I have water in the barrel of my brush too, but I like to use a bowl of water because it gives me a lot of extra water and then I can clean it really easy. So I'm adding water to parakeet and I'm going to add, I'm going to do the same technique and just kind of tap on some water where there is no, I mean, tap on some color where there is no color. And it's okay to leave some extra in different spots because when this dries, it does dry back pretty light. That's the thing about watercolor. You can always go in and add more. 
So don't ever worry about your piece being too light. You can't, it's harder to take color away. And I don't want this to turn brown, but I do want to mix the color a little bit in different areas. So I'm just going to let this piece dry. Probably overnight is typically what I do. I'll do some pieces when I know that I'm going to be stamping turtles. I will, or something else, flowers or whatever. And I'll do my watercolor backgrounds and let them dry overnight. I like them to naturally dry, personally, more than drying it with the heat tool. Um, but I will use a heat tool in a pinch if I have to. So that's kind of how you create the little background panel. Now we're going to set this aside so then it can dry. And I'm going to pull in a panel that I created yesterday. So this one's all dry and ready to go. And now I want to make sure that my turtle comes out nice and um, crisp on this. And so I'm going to bring in my Stamparatus tool. And I'm going to add my panel to the stamp Stamparatus with the magnet just to hold it in place. I'm going to take the turtle off of that block and I'm going to add the detail side down and I'm just going to kind of position this where I want it and then I'm going to use the door to pick up the image. There it is. And now I can ink it up with my Memento Black ink pad. And I'm going to have to ink this a couple of times because, whoops. It comes out kind of light. This is where a Stamparatus comes in super handy. Because you can get this pretty much as crisp as you want it. You just keep adding layers of ink. And this is also why you really want this watercolor piece to be dry before you start adding the Memento Black image to it because this is a dye-based ink, Memento Black, and it will bleed into the color. Okay, that looks good. I like that, I'm happy with how that looks. So now I'm gonna just take my um, stamp chamois I'm going to clean this off. Sorry about all the shaking of the camera. It's attached to my table here. And I'm just going to set that aside. All right. And now I can bring in my little piece. So that looks really cool. It gives kind of that turtle a really pretty watercolory look. Now what I'm gonna do is because there are no coordinating dies, I'm gonna fussy cut around the edge of this turtle and I'm gonna speed up the camera so you don't have to watch me cut. Just like that. Very easy to cut out. It's a very simple shape, so it's not difficult at all. And it leaves you with this beautiful turtle that you can use to decorate your card. So that's what we're gonna do now. We'll finish putting the card together. So let me bring in the rest of the supplies. So as I said, we're gonna be using a sentiment from the Friends Are Like Seashells stamp set. And I used the, <clears throat> excuse me, CD, um, Seashells 3D embossing folder to get this beautiful texture for the panel of our card. So I'm just using a regular basic white thick base card that measures uh, five and a half by eight and a half. And I scored at four and a quarter on that long edge to give me this half sheet um, card. I'm gonna add a little bit of adhesive to the back of this panel just to glue it to the card front. Just 
just like that. So now we have this nice texture and there's gonna create such beautiful contrast between the very subtle texture of the background with this beautiful turtle on the front of the card. So I'm very excited about this. So <clears throat> before we do that, I wanna add a little bit of um, interest. So I'm gonna add a little bit of this silver twine and I like to create like a little nest of twine. So I'm gonna put a little bit of adhesive down and then I'm just going to unravel some of this and swirl it around. Most of it's gonna be covered by the turtle, but I like a little bit peeking out. Sometimes this can be a little bit fussy. Just like that. And I'll take my snips here and snip it off. So I've got a little bit there. And then this will go over top. Yeah, you can barely see it. So I'm just gonna move that around a little bit. That looks nice. I'm gonna leave it like that, and then I'm gonna add some dimensional adhesive to the back of my turtle, and this will help to hold that twine in place so it doesn't shift a lot. So I'm just gonna add the turtle there, like that. And then we're gonna do a little bit um, of stamping on the sentiment panel. And here's the sentiment panel. So I pulled the, a birthday sentiment. And I'm just gonna ink that up in basic gray ink. Stamp it on there. And then I'm gonna add this to the design. I'm gonna mostly put some adhesive on the back and then I'll add one, embell uh, one dimensional on the end there to pop it up since I'm mostly overlapping the turtle with this to keep the focal image to the bottom part of the card. So I'm gonna add that just like that. And then to finish this, I'm gonna add some of these beautiful iridescent pearls. These are in the annual catalog and they look really good on a lot of card designs, but especially ones where there's um, some sea life. So you think of oysters and pearls and since they come from the ocean, it's, it's fun to include them in the design. So I'll add a few of those pearls. And they're white, but they add a really nice little shine to the card. And so that's it. That's the card for today. So I hope you enjoyed this technique. I hope you'll give this a try. That contrast is so beautiful on the turtle. I feel like it's it really kind of mimics nature, and I love that. And um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the card. If you did, please give that video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. All the supplies will be listed in the description of the video. So if there's anything you need or want, you can still participate in celebration if you're watching this video between January 5th, 2023 and February 28th. You can pick something free out of the celebration flyer for every $50 order. So thanks so much for watching today and I'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.